regarding early stage disease, there are still patients that uh, are uh, refractory or mostly relapse after uh, first line treatment. This is not a high percentage, but they, they do exist. And uh, another problem is that uh, many patients are exposed uh, to radiotherapy and its uh, long-term effects. In advanced stages, ABVD uh, is uh, being substituted gradually by interrepet based strategies, starting with ABVD and then escalating to BCOP. But uh, several patients continue to relapse and uh, a major problem is that uh, uh, among those who are PET negative with two cycles of ABVD, uh, about 20% will relapse uh, despite the initial response. Uh, BCOP based strategies uh, appear to be better and BCOP based interim PET guided strategies also uh, exist and appear to work. But, uh, such an approach exposes all patients to the toxicity of uh, BCOP, either of two cycles or four or, or even six cycles of BCOP escalated. Recently, brenduximab uh, in combination, brenduximab dot in, in combination with AVD has been approved uh, both in the USA and specifically for stage four patients in Europe. And uh, <coughs> will have a place uh, on the, in the treatment of uh, advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma especially in the subgroups of uh, poorer prognosis, because uh, it appears from uh, subgroup analysis that patients with uh, stage four or external involvement, or even multiple external involvement, may gain, it, uh, may gain, the, uh, gain the most benefit from reduction of the in combination with chemotherapy. Based uh, on uh, the established indications, reduction of the uh, can be given in patients who uh, progress or relapse after autologous transplant or those who are not candidates for, tra uh, for transplant but have already expo been exposed to two or more chemotherapeutic regimens. And also as a consolidation therapy for patients who undergo a transplant and are deemed to be at high risk of uh, further relapse or progression. Also, as I already mentioned, Brenduximab vedotin has been approved in combination with AVD for advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma and uh, in the specific case of Europe for stage 4 patients. However, it appears that Brenduximab vedotin may work very well in uh, the second line, the first salvage of patients with Hodgkin lymphoma. And uh, there are in the literature impressive results in combination with uh, ESOP, uh, with uh, uh, <clears throat> with uh, ICE uh, or uh, with bendamustine or even sequ sequential combination of chemotherapy of branduximum and then chemotherapy which appear to produce very uh, uh, impressive results. I think that uh, branduximum will be increasingly used in the first line uh, in the specific subpopulations who are more likely to, to gain a benefit. Uh, probably we should uh, study uh, what we could do in case of interim pet positivity after, after branduximab AVD after two cycles. And also it appears that there is a possibility to incorporate branduximab vedotin into BCOP escalated like regimens uh, with uh, the omission of uh, bleomycin and uh, recrystin hoping to maintain efficacy, but reduce, toxi reduce toxicity. Finally, uh, Brenduxum vedotin may be very helpful, but has not been approved in this setting, in the first salvage, as a first salvage regimen in Hodgkin lymphoma, in combination or in sequential, sequential regimens with chemotherapy. And this should be uh, a target for uh, uh, further development. For the time being, immune checkpoint inhibitors have uh, produced uh, excellent results in patients who have failed both autologous transplant and branduximab vedotin, or those who are ineligible for transplant but have failed branduximab vedotin. Probably they can be moved uh, uh, 
in the uh, earlier phase of the treatment, either as uh, uh, checkpoint inhibitor chemotherapy combinations in the second line, or even in the first line, where there are preliminary data available, both for uh, nivolumab and pembrolizumab. We, we could uh, expect that uh, the indications of uh, brenduximab vedotin may be expanded to include patients uh, with uh, uh, first relapse or first progression of Hodgkin lymphoma, and its use in the first line could be optimized. Second, regarding PD-1 inhibitors, uh, they could uh, be used in earlier lines of treatment in combination with chemotherapy or as monotherapy, and uh, there are already uh, data uh, published in, uh, in, the recent, in the last year uh, regarding the use of both nivolumab and pembrolizumab in combination with AVD, but uh, this should be further evaluated. And also, there are very impressive data recently published that indicate that uh, the efficacy of uh, checkpoint inhibitors may be greatly increased if they are combined with epigenetic therapy. So, <coughs> We can hope that uh, moving these agents earlier in the treatment paradigm of Hodgkin lymphoma or establishing strategies that could increase their efficacy might be the way to go. Finally, the technology of CAR-T cells, which is already applicable in aggressive lymphomas, uh, has produced uh, preliminary results in Hodgkin lymphoma and is currently evolving.